My name is Alex Jones. I am the Farm Stand Product Manager at Fair Food Philadelphia. We have about 10 to 12 mm -hmm. uh, staff at the Farm Stand. Um, then there's two managers. That's me and Anne. She's the operations manager. So I do the ordering. She does the um, kind of managing the staff and operations, stuff like that. The whole organization is a nonprofit, uh, but we're kind of its retail wing. We sell pretty much anything that can be grown or made uh, within about 150 miles of Philly. So we have a full cheese counter. Um, we have a full line of sustainable meats, beef, chicken, pork, duck, rabbit, quail, all kinds of poultry. We just started carrying little baby's ice cream. We have some frozen fruits, some frozen prepared soups. We have lots of jams, grains uh, that are locally made and milled, and crackers, some prepared foods like pickles, hummus, uh, all of it made or grown locally. 150 miles is our guideline. A couple of the cheeses go a little bit outside that because a lot of them are made in central PA, which is, looks like a little bit further. We have a few regional items. We sell Maine sea salt, which is a really great sea salt. There's only so many places you can get salt from, so it's kind of the closest we can get and we sell like an olive oil that's infused with local herbs but to us that's local enough we do support sustainable farmers all of the animal products that we sell so the cheeses and the um the meat those are all humanely and sustainably raised we go to the farms uh we check things out we've had relationships with a lot of these places for a long time we trust these people and we consider uh knowing your farmer uh, a lot more important than um than you know what certified organic our executive director and carlin started the farm stand years and years, like 2004, I guess. And we still work with some farms that she's been working with since then. When the stand first started, it was a pop-up table three days, or like maybe one day a week, then went to three days a week, then they had a smaller area in a different part of the market, now we have this, this large space that you see today. Originally, she was there to kind of provide access to animal products, like sustainable local animal products, which was, at the time, um, a need that was less easily met. Now, you know, 10 years later, uh, there are so many farmers markets, but there isn't really one in this part of the part of the city and I think it's also important for Reading Terminal um, they're happy to have us here because this is kind of the same tradition that Reading Terminal was really founded on. There are definitely people who shop here very frequently there are people who um, for example raw milk is legal in Pennsylvania uh, which we're lucky to have only eight states uh, have legal raw milk sales so we have a lot of people who come for those products uh, we have people who we have we set aside meta run eggs for them every week because they just love them so much they won't buy any eggs anywhere else people who because they live in Center City and it's easy for them to stop by here uh, will stop by for fresh veggies for many of the distributors and farmers uh, on their route we're one of the biggest orders the more money they're able to keep there and reinvest in their land the better it is for everybody. Any help that they can get, like that's our mission, a sustainable agriculture system in the Delaware Valley. I really like being able to educate the staff um, and share ideas with them about what to do with the, with the food and to be able to talk to our customers about it, to connect with farmers uh, and promote them and kind of learn from them like, you know, why their products are awesome or like how a certain cheese was made, for example. I'm not a doctor or a teacher, but I feel like I'm doing something really positive uh, for the world. And I, I like it in my own life, but I think a lot of people uh, could incorporate it into their lives as well.